Circles make the world go round. The word circle comes from the Greek kirkos, meaning ring. They're a common symbol found in most cultures, probably stemming from our relationship to the sun and moon, and other round symbols in nature. The circle is an integral part of human life. The wheel, for example, is one of the groundbreaking inventions in our history. Look around you. You're almost certain to see circles. Circles represent the continuity of an unbroken chain, as they do not have a beginning or an end. Just like our learning. Circles are simply closed curves, equidistant from a fixed centre. They are a special ellipse that has a single constant radius around a central point. To work with circles effectively, we must know these important circle facts. The distance around the outside of a circle, the perimeter, is called the circumference. A straight line that passes from one side of a circle to the other through the centre is called the diameter. It touches both sides of the circumference, creating two semicircles. The radius of a circle goes just from the centre to the outer rim. It is always half of the diameter. If the diameter or radius of a circle is known, then all the other parameters can be calculated from it. Tyres on different vehicles can have different radii. Speedometers record the number of revolutions of the wheels and the time taken for each full turn. They then use the circumference of the wheel to work out the distance travelled in that time, and then the speed. You've probably ordered pizza in a restaurant using its diameter, depending on how hungry you were. An arc of a circle is a section of the circumference. A sector is a region of a circle between an arc and two radii. A segment is a part of a circle bounded by a line and a connecting arc. The line shown here is called a chord, a line segment whose end points are on the perimeter. The diameter is actually the longest possible chord. Any line drawn across a circle is a chord, and no matter where you draw one, a line that cuts it exactly in half at 90 degrees will always go through the centre of the circle, so will also be the diameter. This is called the chord bisector. A tangent is a straight line that touches a circle at only one point. We use the symbol pi to make calculations about circles. Pi represents the ratio of the circumference to the diameter of a circle. The circumference can be found by using one of two formulae. C equals pi d or C equals 2 pi r. Knowing the circumference of the planets helps us to compare their relative sizes. The area of a circle is found by using the formula A equals pi r squared. Circles are often found in 3D shapes, such as cylinders, cones and spheres. The volume of a drink in a can or of water in a pipe can be modelled as a cylinder. If we need to know the volume of a cylinder, it is simply the area of the circle times the height. Did you know that half a circle is called a semicircle, but half a sphere is called a hemisphere? Semi comes from the Latin word for half, whereas hemi comes from the Greek word for half. The volume of a sphere can be calculated using this formula. To find the surface area of a sphere, this is a formula to use. Well done, you've covered all these circle facts. Can you use them to solve this problem?